Last time on the Great Western Trail, after leaving Tucson, we headed up the Sky Island Scenic Byway to the top of Mount Lemon. It's pretty high up here. Now we decided to stop for lunch. After a chilly lunch, we descend the 9,159 foot peak down the back way to Mount Lemon in hopes of reaching Phoenix. We end our day setting up camp in a rather nice wash because, quite frankly, we did not get anywhere near Phoenix today. <laughs> record time for us. At about 6.30 this morning when I poked my head out of the tent, the girls already had their tent pretty much put away. So, the plan, much as it was yesterday, is to make it to Phoenix. I'm fairly confident we'll get there. That being said, once we get there, we're going to pick up some spacers for the crush. We got maybe a little bit of grocery shopping to do, not much, just a little bit. Um, stop at a KOA. Yeah, it's been a good morning. It's been a good morning. Day three is typically our grumpy day, and we push through that. This is day four. We're all in good spirits. We're all hustling. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Putting the girls to work. Anna's doing a lot of our uh, camera work for us, so she's setting up. Oh, she's ready to go. So here we go. A lot of these drive by shots are from my middle child. She makes some pretty good shots. I'm ready. Let's go. after camp and now we're on smelter wash it's just unbalanced enough that we're disconnecting our sway bars here I know what you're thinking you have a Rubicon you have electronic sway bar disconnects and they do but I have to put it in four-wheel drive in order to disconnect the sway bar I have not needed four-wheel drive since we started this trip I'm not going to start using it now so we're just going to disconnect the sway bars manually. We're not airing down yet. It's just not that bad.
try and not tear down because that means at the end of the swift air back up. But this is smelter wash, which means there's gonna be a lot of loose, soft sand. And in fact, at the bottom of this hill here, I'll spin it a little bit, even in four wheel drive. Man, I didn't get stuck or anything, just spin it a little. So we're gonna air down. One, two, three. Nicely done. Let's go. The Fun Treks third edition guide to Arizona backroads rates smelter wash as moderate. And once again, I absolutely agree. You're going to want to air down to get to the soft sands of the wash and the riverbed. And there's a couple spots where high clearance and decent articulation are an absolute must. I did use four wheel drive a few times, mostly just to get the front end to go where I wanted it to in the soft sand. Now keep in mind, this is a wash that turns into a riverbed, so after a good rain, there's a pretty good possibility of flooding in this area. If you catch smelter wash on the right day, with a rig that's capable enough, you'll be rewarded with some very interesting rock formations and a couple pretty cool culverts along the way. Kicks on, go fuel up, and we'll see about lunch. The smelter wash was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Some pretty neat trails. We got some pavement, go get some gas, sign somewhere to eat lunch, get back on the trail and head further north. My compressor overheated and blew a fuse. I had a spare fuse and threw it in there. I shouldn't have because it was so hot it immediately blew that fuse. No big deal. We have a single air hose and a filler from our single ARV compressor in the back of the crush. So we're still doing all right. I got to get a dual compressor eventually. But we're still working it. Filling up in Mammoth, Arizona. Uh, tanks on the Jeeps and the spare fuel cans. And we are headed north. On to Phoenix. That was quick. Excellent. That's what we wanted anyway. 
in an effort to save time and get some trail behind us because videoing while going down the trail takes some time. We're eating lunch on the go. Goober sandwiches. If you don't know what that is, they're just peanut butter and jelly that's in the same jar. And they call it goober. On the Phoenix, hopefully. detour about an hour about 50 miles off the trail to stop at a KOA in Phoenix. We got the cabin back behind me here. We were debating whether we wanted to go back the way we came but I think what we're gonna do since the Great Western Trail officially starts actually at Apache Junction. I say Phoenix we're in Apache Junction. It actually starts in Apache Junction not far up the road here. I think we're going to skip the rest of the unofficial trail that we found online and just join the official Great Western Trail just up about 30 minutes up the road. Today is what, Wednesday? We'll do that Thursday. We got, got some shopping to do today. Restock some food, get some spacers for the crush here so that we're not rubbing fenders every time we flex out. And right now I'm making a breakfast hash. Eggs, hash browns, onions, green peppers. Sausage should be pretty good. Oh, and I gotta check that the spacers on the on packs over here haven't come loose at all. Not that I think they have, but it's just a good idea. Right, you can get your your plate here. Did it like, subscribe, comment, help us reach 200 followers by the end of the year. Hey, more if you're really excited about it. Tell all your friends. <laughs> you want to wait here? Yeah, I'll wait here. Don't fall. Bye, plus.